morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. We're beginning now the Tai Chi warm-up exercises. We'll begin with push clouds. Relax, breathe deeply. With push clouds, we do three repetitions of each little piece. Left side. Relax, breathe deeply, touch earth. It's more important to stretch and relax than it is to actually push to the extent. <laughs> Very good. Archer. So, uh, front view of Archer. Full stance. Pull back. Relax motion. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. You may do this at your pace. Be aware of deep breathing. Very good. Yin yang arms. Flatten the hand. Grasping motion. Relaxed hand. Almost a parade wave. Just flatten the hand. Circular motion. Relax. Breathe deeply. Very good. Turning the neck.
very good. And lion, that is the lion, the animal with a lion's mane. Some think that this represents the lion when we lift the arms and do this, the lion throwing his mane. Essentially, this exercise is just moving the arms up, down, and up with bending the knee, keeping the arms in front of the chest. Relax, breathe deeply. Very good. And now we do energy fist or grabbing energy. Essentially it is like a martial arts punch. From the side it looks like this. Grasp, relax, slight punch, grasp, pull back. All of these exercises are done in a relaxed fashion and the body becomes accustomed to its movement. Very good. And now the horse stance. This is known as the wu-wei position. So feet about shoulder width apart, soften the knees, Turn the hips in slightly so that you have a relaxed, straight spine. And bend the knees slightly. Keep the head level as if held with a silk thread. For us, it's a silk thread. And you should be able to glance down and see the toes of your feet just beyond the kneecap. That's perfect. If you spread further, you do it the same principle. Tip the pelvis in and Keep the knees just so that you uh, can see the kneecap. Raise the arms. Hold one minute. Relax. Breathe deeply. This is the state of no motion with full activity of the body, or the body is fully active with no motion. We're fully aware of what's going on around us. You can feel your feet, the ball of the foot, the side of the foot and the heel, anchored firmly, relaxed. Very good. 
stretch in the back. I, I turn for this exercise so you can see. Typically, that can be done uh, in the same position we were in before, but with the weight on one leg, the empty stance, and we just very simply stretch the back, relax motion. Forward, touching the toe. The main thing is the motion, not so much the reach. This is a perfect motion without touching the toe. Relax, breathe deeply. All of these exercises should be done with no stress. So you, some call it only doing what you can do. So uh, with, it's fun to have this motion done continually in a relaxed fashion. It just feels good. Other side. Very good. And balance. So, weight on one leg. <clears throat> Relaxed leg, empty stance. Assume the holding position, just this arm toward the shoulder, this arm toward the hip area. So as though we're holding or relaxed holding, and we should be able to freely move the this foot. So, Hold one minute, and you may very simply touch the toe. Uh, if you can lift the toe slightly occasionally, then you know that your weight is concentrated on the other leg. And should you wish, you can extend the leg, hold one minute. Very good, other side. So, weight on this leg now, assume the position, and balance. Very good. And now we just practice the use of the feet in stepping, although we won't step anywhere, we'll very simply do an imaginary stepping forward and back. So with being in position, again, there's the empty stance, full weight here. This leg is empty. This is known as monkey, touching the heel. do it like this. I'm in control. That's the idea. I'm in control of my body for stepping. Cat, monkey, cat, monkey, cat, monkey, cat, monkey, cat, monkey, and for the aficionados, 
cat, monkey, cat, monkey, other side, monkey, and cat, monkey, and cat. Everything is done with a purpose. The purpose is to touch and be in balance. Touch, balance, touch. Very good. And last, rooster. We usually do just about five for the warm up. This is a rooster. So wait on this leg or other leg. And this leg is raised in the rooster stance. There is the rooster. Finish. One rooster. So we do five roosters. We do these at our pace based on our agility. So this is a good rooster. Up. Very good. Excellent. So at your pace, do rooster. One. Stay in balance. Two. Three. Four, and five. Other side. Very good.